Okay, this is the top fin, 55 gallon glass aquarium. And I looked all over the net to see if this is tempered because if it's tempered, you cannot drill it for overflow. We're setting this up as salt water and the newest information I found was like 2008. And if these things would have shattered, we would have had a lot more information, more recent than that. But we did all the tests for um, see if the glass was tempered. We used polarized sunglasses, uh, put it in the sun, put a computer screen behind the glass, looking for the rainbow effect and the wavy. We even looked at the glass at a 45 degree angle with the polarized sunglasses on, looking for the vertical black lines. Um, another website said, look for imperfections in the glass being wavy. And um, I did not see any imperfections in that glass. It's just smooth as glass. So, I already have purchased the ESIPS, I think it's ESIPS Overflow M that I'm going to put right in the middle. We got four holes to drill. Uh, overflow, two supplies, and then a drain. So, but we're going to find out with the first one if this is tempered or not. Fitty fitty. Okay, good news. It is not tempered glass. So, if you buy a top fin, 55 gallon look how thick that glass is good gravy that is some serious serious glass and um, it took me a good bit of time to drill it of course when it comes to drilling glass the longer is the better so now we need three more three quarters One here, one here, and one on the side. Okay, so far successful. Three holes, one, two, three. Corner one's a return. This one's for the overflow. And this one is for a general drain just above the sand level and maybe a little higher. What I did was I took the um, the template from the eShips overflow kit that I got. Let's see, I'll get this off of here. This here, this is a template they sent for the overflow. What I did was I took the, um, the drill bit that I bought for the bulkhead, other three bulkheads, and I actually use that drill bit to drill this hole and use it as a template for the other two. And um, these 3 8 glass, it takes some time to get through that. And you can see I still blew out a little bit on the back side. And there at the end, I wasn't pushing hardly at all. I was holding the weight of the drill and just letting it sand and it still blew it out. So... I bet it took us eight to ten minutes a hole of this thick stuff. Of course, I wasn't pushing very hard because you only want to do it once. But anyway, top fin, 55 gallon tank glass. Um, I'm trying to remember the part number. TF. Uh, I can't remember. I got a. I took a picture of the part number. I'll add the part number here in a minute, and um, so you'll know that it is not tempered. The bottom, it did. It looks the same as this. It did not have any of the reflections of the tempered glass on the bottom. So, but I did not drill the bottom, so I cannot guarantee the bottom is not tempered. But the sides are not tempered, so you can definitely drill a top fin. 55 gallon tank.